Hi, today I'm reviewing the Ordinary's Vitamin C 30% Suspension in Silicone. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money. So you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchases. So this is the full size, which is one ounce and sells for, I believe it is, $6.80 American dollars, which is a really good deal because most uh, products that are vitamin C products are usually the most expensive, some of the most expensive products in each brand's line. Um, and with The Ordinary, it's actually one of the most affordable products in their line, which I absolutely love. Um, now it's 30% vitamin C and it's in uh, silicone so it is a very thick product and you definitely feel the silicone in it so as you can see it's pretty thick there's no water in it I don't think there's any water in it um, so it is a thicker product and it's got like a silicone consistency like if you ever used silicone primers or Smashbox's photo finish primer it's kind of got that um, consistency to it it absorbs pretty quickly now I've used vitamin C a fair amount um, in my routines um, and I found that this 30 percent is for me it's just too strong I had a lot of tingling um, after I applied it and I still left it on even and I covered it with a lot of moisturizer and even the morning when I put on my other serums, I could definitely feel some stinging from it. So I think I'm going to need to build up to the 30%. Um, I don't think I'm quite there yet. 30% is pretty high, and if you're not used to it, it can be very irritating. So if um, if you think 30% might be too high, uh, The Ordinary is another product that is a vitamin C product. I think it's 23%, which is still high. But I definitely highly recommend you start there before you go up and start with a 30% because it can be pretty strong. And um, another thing is you definitely don't want to start using this every single day because it's going to be too irritating for your skin because of the high percentage of vitamin C. So definitely start slow and low. Start with a very low percentage of vitamin C and start to work your way up because even 23 or 30 percent they're both pretty high so um, just something to consider because I could definitely feel the stinging and that's normal with a lot of products that after you apply them you'll feel some tingling or a little bit of stinging and it's not necessarily a bad thing um, a lot of retinols you have to build up to getting those into your regimen um, so definitely usually it's not necessarily a bad thing but when it becomes very painful or your face is getting visibly red it's probably too much I would rinse off and start with something else um, but there are also a lot of masks that have vitamin C in it so that's a good way to start because if you're just wearing the mask for 10 minutes and you rinse it off um, that's a nice way to kind of start to build up because this is pretty high but it actually feels quite nice and I if you are going to use this this will be a great product to use before sunscreen um, even over like a moisturizer vitamin C in a lot of cases can sometimes back up the antioxidant effects with the sunscreen and slow down the effect of any free radicals um, but it just depends if it doesn't work well with your makeup or underneath but I think this this texture is very nice for something like that but um, something to consider unless it's gonna be too strong or irritating then it would be better to use it at night uh, followed by a lot of moisturizers or maybe an oil because vitamin C can be you know irritating on the skin so but for six dollars and eighty cents this is definitely something to consider if you've used vitamin C before and I definitely have but 30% was definitely too high for me so this is going to go back in my cabinet for a while and I'll see if I can build up to it but if you haven't used vitamin C before, start with something lower and start maybe using like every third or fourth day, work up to every other day, and then maybe work up to every morning. So, and then work up the percentages. So anyway, those are my thoughts on it. I'm going to give this product two thumbs up if you've used vitamin C before. Uh, it's definitely very good aesthetically and um, chemically and price-wise. So I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or any other products from The Ordinary. What have you picked up and tried? 
um, and what have you loved or hated let me know what it is so I love hearing from you guys and also feel free to subscribe I come with at least one new review every day thank you guys